In this video, I will show you how to use all the functions of Pika Labs and turn text and images into amazing videos. First, you have to go to pika.ai. The link is in the description below. Now, the first thing we have to do is to come right here and click on Try Pika. Here you choose how you are going to create your account. After you create your account, you are immediately brought to the Explore page where, while we are scrolling down, you can see all these generations of the community. Take a look at this one. It looks amazing, and now I will show you how to create an amazing video, just like this one. The first thing we have to do is to come down here to the prompt bar. Here we will describe what we want to see in our video. There are two ways to create a video. One is just by using text, and the other one is by using an image as a guide, and also using text. Let's first create a generation just by using text. I need to write a prompt to describe to the AI exactly what I want in my video. Let's say for example I want to create a samurai. I will simply go to the prompt bar and type create a samurai warrior holding his sword and slightly moves it up and down. Vibrant, beautiful colors. Now after we are done with our prompt, we need to select the style of our video. We can do that by coming right here and clicking on style. This opens this tab where we can choose anime, moody, 3D, watercolor, and many more by clicking this bar here. For this generation, I will choose anime. Now we go to sound effects where we can choose whether we want our video to have sound effects or not by turning them off and on. I do want sound effects in my video, so I will leave them on. Then we go to the advanced options where we have the option to adjust the camera control by changing the pan, the tilt, the rotation, and zoom of the video. Then we also can change the aspect ratio of our video, but I will leave it at 16 by 9. Then we have the negative prompt where we type what we don't want to see in our generation. For this example, I will type deformed hands, a lot of limbs. Then we have the seed number, which is a unique number each generation has that allows us to reference it by using this number. Then we can select the frames per second of our video by sliding this bar over here. I will leave it at 24. Then we select the strength of motion, which determines how much motion will be in our video from a scale of 1 to 4. I will put this at 2. At last, we have the consistency with the text, which determines how closely our prompt will be followed and how much creative freedom we will leave to the AI. I will put this around 15. And now after we are done with the settings, we simply come on this star and click on Generate. This brings us to our library. While we wait for our generation to be finished, we can also see our previous generations like this one that I made before. And boom, this is the end result. While it does look great, it is not exactly what we asked for, and that is why usually all of these tools give a better result if you provide them with the image you want to animate first, because they aren't really made to create images from the scratch. Rather, they are better at taking an already existing image, understanding the context, and then creating the animation. So this time, we will do exactly that. We will come right here and delete our previous prompt. Now we will come down here and click on Image or Video. Now we select the image we want to animate, and we upload it to the site. I selected this picture that I already have generated with another AI tool. You can select the one you want. And now we will again go back to the prompt bar, but this time we only have to describe the type of movement we want in our generation. So I will type, make her move slightly up and down and create some slight movement in the background as well. Now we come down here and turn sound effects on. Then we go to the settings. I will not use any camera controls, and I will also use the same negative prompt. I will leave the frames per second to 24. I will leave the strength of motion to 2, and I will change the consistency with the text to 20. And now we will come right here and click on Generate. And boom, take a look at this video. It looks amazing. The AI did exactly what we asked it to do. We also can click on top of it and open it so we can get a better look. Now if for some reason we didn't like the end result, we can simply come right here and click on the retry button and the AI will recreate the video differently while using the same prompt. Now if we want to edit the prompt, we simply come over here and click on the reprompt button. This brings the old prompt to the prompt bar where we can make all the changes we want. If we go back to our video, we can also click on the edit button which opens all these options down right here under our prompt bar. First, we can modify a region by clicking here. This opens our video in a new and large tab, and inside the video is this malleable box. This box is used to select the region we want the AI to make specific changes into. For example, let's say, I don't like these pumpkins on the bottom right of the video. I will place the box over the area that the pumpkins are. 
and then I will come right here to the prompt bar and delete my previous prompt. And now I need to type only the changes I want made inside the area of the box. So I will type remove the pumpkin and then come here and click on generate. Now we will simply come up here, close this tab, and we will wait for our generation to be finished. And boom, look at that. It worked perfectly. The AI removed the pumpkins from the specific place we wanted. Now we click on edit again, and this time we come down here and click on expand canvas. This again opens this tab, but this time you can see our video is in front of this transparent background. And down here there are all these aspect ratios which we can select, and the AI will fill in the empty space with relevant content. For this example I will leave it at one by one, and I will simply come right here and click on generate. Now we come up here and close this tab. We wait a little bit for our generation to be finished. And now our generation is finished. Let's open it and take a look. Wow! The AI filled in the empty space perfectly with content that is totally aligned with the whole video. Now let's click on edit again, and this time we will go down here and select lip sync audio. This opens this tab that allows us to create a voiceover and sync it with the character in our image. In this box right here, we type what we want our voiceover to say. So I will type, hello explorer. Now if we come down here and click, we can choose from all these pre-made voices to use in our generation. We can listen to a sample of each voice by coming on the left and clicking on the sound button. Change in all things is sweet. I really like Rachel's voice, so I will pick this one. If you want, you also have the option to upload your own voiceover by clicking here and selecting the file you want from your PC. But I want to generate the voiceover here, so I will simply come here and click on Generate Voice. And now let's listen to our voiceover. Hello, Explorer. That sounds great. Here we have the option to download it and also to regenerate it if we didn't like the end result. I did, so I will come here and click on Attach and Continue. Here we can select the duration of our voiceover in the final video. I will leave it as it is and come right here and click on Generate. And boom, our video is done. Let's put in it full screen and listen to it. Hello, Explorer. Hello, Explorer. Wow, that is just simply amazing. Take a look at how the AI matches the word said with her mouth movement. It looks very realistic. Now let's close this tab and let's go to our final option, the sound effects, and click. This opens this new tab where we have to describe to the AI the sound effects we want to add. I will type creepy sounds and come over here and click on generate. Here we have three samples to choose from. Let's listen to them. I like the second one more, so I will select it and I will click on continue. Here we can decide the part of the video we want to insert the sound in. We can adjust it by sliding the edges and we can even slide it all together through our time frame. I will put it in the start of the video. We also have the option to download it. And now we will come right here and click on attach video. Now let's play the video. Amazing, we can hear the sound we described to the AI. Now we also have the option to add more seconds in our video. We just have to come right here and click on add four seconds. Then we simply come down here and type what we want to see in our video in the next four seconds. I will type, keep zooming in on her. And then we need to come here and click on generate and this will increase the duration of our video. Now finally, when you are done, we have the option to add this video to our favorites by clicking on this star right here. We can also download our video by coming right here and clicking on the download button, and we can also delete it by clicking on the trash bin right here. If this video helped you out, give it a like and comment something down below, and if you want to see how to use another image to video AI tool, click on this video right here.